understands uh, what electricity does, how it operates, how it can hurt you. Does anybody know how fast electricity travels? Go ahead. Uh, at least. Give me a guess. Somewhere around the speed of sound. Oh, it's faster than that. Light. Yeah, there you go. The speed of light. Do you know how fast that is? That's. Let me give you a hint. 186,000 miles per second. Now, there's nobody in the world that fast other than me. <laughs> Wait a minute, you guys are laughing? Don't you believe me? You don't believe that I'm that fast? I can do better than that. Oh, God, I'll do better than that. Are you ready? <laughs> yes. All right, here's what we're going to do. These lights are on, okay? Remember, you can't blink that fast. So I'm going to run over there, turn these lights off, turn them back on before you clap. Ready? But I'm going to ask you to do it on the count of three. I want you to clap your hands, and before you pull them apart, I'll be standing here. Do you believe I'm that fast? No, I'm okay. Okay, usually I make money off this, but you guys are lucky to do it. All right, so ready? On the count of three, ready? I'm going to go and hit the light switch, turn the lights off, turn them back on, and be back here before you take your hands apart. Ready? On three. One, two, three. Uh, the other thing that's very important that you learn for your safety is what electricity is always looking to do. And I'm going to give you a hint. Ready? Electricity is always looking for the nearest path to ground. Power line. And even if the, if the, the tree is away from the power line and there's a wind or something that touches it, you'll get an arc. Here's my little... I always call it, this is my funny joke. There's a little girl right here, right? She had a little kitty cat, brand new kitty cat. You like kitty cats, right? No. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Figured she'd say no. <laughs> so, she, uh, she was holding her cat, comes out to show her brother. He likes to get dressed up like a police officer sometimes. And um, she, she comes out and the dog comes up and scares her kitty cat, runs up the tree. She asks her brother to go get it. Now remember, electricity is always looking for the nearest path to ground. Keep that in mind. So she says, fine, I'll get the kitty cat myself. So whenever that little red light is on, don't move, okay? Because that will be in the ghost. You see that light? So she decides to climb up the tree. She's going to get the kitty cat. Uh oh, what was that? Can you guys see that? Yeah. What is electricity doing? Remember I told you earlier, electricity is looking for the nearest path to ground, and you don't want to be that path, right? This little girl came out. She sees it down, but she doesn't recognize that there's a problem. And electricity is always looking to the path to ground. There's nothing going on, and that bus is energized, right? And here she, uh oh. Can you see it going in her arm? And where is it coming out? Can you see that? Where is it coming out? The bottom. At the bottom, because she is on the ground. On the ground. So she made that connection, right? If and only if you had to get out of the vehicle because it was on fire. If not, just stay until the PD comes. But if you had to get out, you get over there close to it, you get your hands to your chest, and you jump out as far as you can, and you land with both feet, okay? And when you land, you don't step, and I'll, I'll take you to that. You don't step, you shuffle. You shuffle off a good 20 feet, farther than from here to that door and then you just run to get out of the way. The reason I'm saying, have you ever thrown a rock into a pond of water and you've yeah. seen those ripples? Okay, just imagine that those ripples, there's different sizes, okay? So if the wire is down and we have 7,200 volts laying right at the center where that little bitty ripple is at, just an imaginary one on the ground, okay? And then the next ripple outside, the 
electricity dissipates. You lose a little bit of it, okay? So now instead of being 7,200 volts, that next little invisible line area is 6,600 volts. And the ring outside of that is 5,000 volts. So there's a difference, right? So it keeps dropping. So if you were to be standing in that one that says 7,200 volts and you took a step and you stepped into that imaginary line that was a different voltage, 6,600 volts, it's called difference in potential, you could actually explode, start on fire, get electrocuted because there's a difference. So that's why I say shuffle off. Real good. You did good. So here's a lady not paying attention, and um, she's flying her kite, and where is she looking? She's looking over here. She's trying to figure out what's going on. She wasn't paying attention. Do you think she got hurt? Mm -hmm. yeah. Why? Anyway, I think so. The most important thing is if you see a wire down, you don't know what it is, stay away from it, call an adult, right? If you happen to know, if you come across a situation that um, there's a wire on a vehicle or something, stay away, keep everybody back, call the PUD. If you have a ball, go over one of these large fences where we have our transformers. You don't ever go inside one of those. What do you do? Call the PUD. Okay. Fire department will take care of fires. Law enforcement will take care of um, the bad guys and the, guy, the, the professionals as far as electricity, the PUD guys. They know what they're doing.